Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about the materials cycle or the total materials cycle and its importance is. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. All materials we've ever heard of move in a total materials cycle, or simply, the materials cycle. From the earth and its atmosphere, man takes ores, hydrocarbons, wood, oxygen, and other substances in crude form, by the mining, drilling, or harvesting processes. These are the raw materials, before any kind of processing takes place. And, then these raw materials are extracted, refined, purified, and converted through different processes, into simple metals, chemicals, and other basic raw materials. These are, the bulk materials. Then, man modifies, or processes these bulk materials, into alloys, ceramics, electronic materials, polymers, plastics, crystals, composites, and other compositions, to meet performance requirements. These processed or modified materials, are the engineering materials. And, again man makes designs, and plans of manufacturing, and from these modified materials, he makes shapes or parts, for assembly into products, devices, machines, structures, etc. The product, provides service, throughout its useful life. And, when its useful life is ended, it turns into waste or junk. Then this waste or junk is either disposed, that means, it returns to the earth or the atmosphere, as waste. Or, it may be dismantled, or recycled to recover the basic raw materials or bulk materials, that re-enter the cycle. So, the materials cycle is a global system, whose operation includes, a strong three-way interaction, among the materials, the environment, and the energy supply, and demand. The condition of the environment, depends in large degree, on how carefully man moves materials, through each of the stages of this cycle, because at each of these stages, environmental impacts occur. Materials moving through this cycle, may be considered as an investment of energy, because the energy expended to extract a metal from ore, does not need to be expended again, if the metal is recycled. Thus, a pound of usable iron, can be recovered from scrap at about 20% of the energy cost that would be required for extracting a pound of iron from ore. Similarly, copper can be recycled, at only about 5% of the cost needed to extract copper from ore. Similarly, the recycling of magnesium only requires 1.5% of the cost required to extract it from ore. Material scientists and engineers work most commonly and efficiently to reduce disposal of materials to Earth's atmosphere and increase the chance of recycling more and more. So, this is the total materials cycle, demonstrating the life cycle of material. Thank you.